Welcome back to Dream of Mirror Online. Last time we finished up Copperhorn Mountain and now I have just entered Placid Plain, which despite its beautiful and peaceful music is actually a fairly dangerous area in comparison to the ones we've been to before. There are more monsters which will aggro if you attack one of your friends and there are some area bosses that are quite tough. But the first thing I do want to discuss is that I did experiment with Hilfer after finishing off the last episode, and I will now report my results. Yes, I am a nerd, I wrote them down. I recorded every single attempt. So at the time, I had super fighting chance and only slight luck in Provider's Providence. And what I found was that when I tried to steal the steel saber recipe from the wild flying poopoos, which you can find in Eversun North and Eversun South, both near the edges of the map where you go to the gates to other regions, it took me 16 attempts. I had four fails, then I got one item, two fails, I got an item, one fail, got an item, then I had five fails, but then I got the recipe. So that means that out of 16 attempts, four of them did get were successful and one of them was the item I needed. That's actually pretty good as far as Pilfer goes. I know that still took a while, but it wasn't that bad, especially since my agility meant that Pilfer probably was taking 20 seconds to cool down instead of 30. Not terrible. It took a bit longer to get the next recipe. I wanted to steal the simple syringe recipe from the Forest Cuckoo Mamas. This took me 35 attempts. Yeah, that, that's not as great. I had a fail, then an item, then five fails, then I got two more items in a row, then I got two fails, then I got an item, then I got eight fails in a row, then I got an item, two fails, an item, one fail, an item, six fails, then I got an item, then I got another fail, and then I got the recipe. So out of 35 attempts, I got eight items, and then finally, the well, last, last thing was the, then finally I got the recipe on the ninth successful attempt. So at first I was thinking maybe fighting chance does make a difference. That doesn't sound like a great rate, but if 9 out of 35 attempts is, are successful and then for the other one it was 4 out of 16, it's not terrible. And it may have been that it took me longer because I had low provider's providence. Slight isn't very good luck. And I thought maybe that's the case. But then I had a bit of an issue. I went to the cemetery to try to steal a recipe from these zombies, and at that stage I had four fails, one item, three fails, then I got three items in a row, which I thought was really good. Then I got four fails, then I got an item, but then I failed 20 times in a row. And I was starting to think, is, is its level wrong? I checked my luck, my luck was the same. Is it because it's a higher level than the other monsters? I tried stealing from the Forest Cuckoo Papa, which also has a recipe, and again, I still couldn't get anything. So at that point, I just gave up. Now, I have two theories. One is that the luck doesn't really matter that much, and I really just had like regular luck, not in-game luck stat, but just regular old boring luck, and that that is what made the difference. Anyway, we are now going to talk about Placid Plain. There are plenty of quests to do here, but the main quests I'm going to be starting are the quests from an NPC called Raymond, he is a soldier who guards the area, and from the assault officer, although I don't need his quest just yet. Raymond wants me to fight the toxic tiger moths first, hence why I switched to shaman, which will get decent experience from it, whereas level 24 fencer won't, and the assault officer only wants me to fight the next level of monster up from that, so I can't pick that up quest up yet, there's no point. Okay, so first, here are the recipes in Placid Plain. I actually did get a lot of the recipes in the north. I never talked to any NPCs or did any quests here, I just got the recipes because I desperately wanted to make the rhino armor. The recipes in the southern area I need to still collect. And there's also an NPC and a marshal who sells recipes and I really need to talk to him because some of the recipes he sells are for the last parts of the level 25 light armor. And here is where you start getting higher level collections, so I'm finally deciding to get the screen caps of those from the wiki as well and show you. You can do level 3 and 4 um, collection in a lot of these areas, so that is very nice. And this is completely unimportant, but I was walking past Eversun South to get here and... The cake is more decorated now, it looks very pretty. I didn't know if people were actually doing that, but I guess they are. <laughs> anyway, for now we need to go talk to Raymond and pick up that quest. And I will also show you on the main map in the game that there are four dungeons in this area, and they are extremely high level. These are basically some of the final boss kind of dungeons in the game. You will often get notes from the public announcement system on the game, which will tell you that players have beat some of these bosses, and 
Huge. Yeah, they're like level, I think the enemies are in like in level 70s for some of them. It's like the highest, it's we're getting up to the level cap, the enemies there. So you'll mostly see guilds doing it. You can sometimes, apparently I have heard that some very, seen various high player level players do it by themselves with just a pet. There are some videos of that on YouTube, so I think I have might have one bookmarked. If I do, I will link you to it. It's actually quite interesting that people can do that. But I cannot. I personally don't really plan on getting past the main level cap. I'll probably talk more about the level caps later, but basically the first level cap is level 60. In fact, you can see it, I think, here. So potential development. The current cap is level 60. In order to, you can then, you have to do a quest to unlock every level after that until level 70, which is difficult but feasible. I might do that in one job that I actually find really good. We will see, I don't know if I'm that dedicated. But then to get up past 70, there is a very insane process called reincarnation, where you then, in order to unlock level 71, will then also be resetting your job all the way back to level 10. You also need a special item to do it. And then for every level cap after that, you have to do that all over again. Yes, you have to level it up all the way back each time and then restart at level 10 again. I don't know why any player is insane enough to do this. I think that level 70 is fine. I think that's already a lot, but yep, it's a thing. And I'm not going to be doing that. I might get a favorite job up to level 70. Whatever I find is really best for leveling up in the high, air, high level areas. Maybe. I make no promises. My only major goal is to unlock the main areas of the game. I don't have any expectations to go that far. That is for people who just want to play this game forever. And I don't, I don't know that I'm that dedicated. I always seem very obsessive about this game, and I am, but that's a bit much even for me. <laughs> All right, here is Raymond. In the olden days, this place was called Placid Swamp. It was once terrorized by the horrific monster, Madame Malachite. In order to fight Malachite, the people built fortresses at the four points of the compass, Eastern Dragon Tower, Southern Vermilion Bird Tower, Western Tiger Tower, and Northern Tortoise Tower. They also invited the four divine beasts to stay there all the time as guardians. They called them the Towers of the Four Spirits. Eventually, the four divine beasts drove Malachite out into Cobblehorn Mountain, but during the battle they used up all their magical powers, and their spirits fragmented and scattered all around. Although Malachite was banished from Placid Plain, monsters still under her influence took over the area where the divine beasts lost their magical powers. Some of them would even swallow the shards of the spirits of the divine beasts. I'm trying to slowly gather all the shards of the spirits of the four divine beasts. Would you like to help me in my task? Collect Sovereign Vermilion Bird Spirit. I heard that the shards of Sovereign Vermilion Bird Spirit were swallowed by Toxic Tiger Moth. I need to collect 30 of the shards of Sovereign Vermilion Bird Spirit. Yes, I will help. And he gives you a little package to collect them. Now you might wonder why I have down. That is because I need to do the dancer and musician qualification as well, and you need those for that. So I'm going to head back to where the Toxic Tiger Moths are and meet you there. Alright, we're back at the Toxic Tiger Moths and since Raymond talked about that, it is time for me to talk about these four spirits. So, this is a very familiar concept from East Asian mythology. There are the four, uh, four celestial beasts. There are lots of different names that are used to translate them. It varies a lot. But you'll probably have heard of them quite a few times. The four symbols of the Chinese constellations, and you have the four of them. Why did I say it like that? So you'll probably be familiar from from this if you watch with this if you watch anime because they show up a lot in Japanese anime as well. You have the White Tiger of the West, Shi Feng Bai Hu. The Japanese name is Byaku. That features quite a bit. I've definitely seen some characters based on Byaku in both Chinese dramas and Japanese shows. Then you have the Azure Dragon, which is of the East, Dongfang Qinglong, and that is Seryu in Japanese. They also have Korean names um, Chonglong, so that's more close to the Chinese pronunciation than Seryu is. <laughs> Seryu is clearly a Japanese word, it's not taken from the Chinese word. You have the Vermilion Bird, which is Nanfang Ju Chue, Nanfang is the south, and it is Suzaku in Japanese. Finally, you have 
Vi Xuan Wu, the black tortoise, Bei Feng Xuan Wu of the north, Genbu in Japanese. One case where you may have heard of this is Fushingi Yuni, a very famous shoujo manga which was adapted into an anime in the 90s, where the main character is transported into a book called The Universe of the Four Gods, where these four creatures are the four gods of that world, and she becomes the priestess of Suzaku, who is expected to summon Suzaku in order to save the kingdom of Hongnan. You also see these referenced in Yu Yu Hakusho. There, are, there is an early arc in the anime where the main characters fight four divine demons who are based on these creatures. And they also feature, some of them also feature in the series Modao Zushu, which was adapted into a very good anime a few years ago. It just finished last year, the series, and I highly recommend it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The main characters have to fight a tor tortoise which tried to become a Xuan Wu and failed and is now a very powerful demon. So they show up a lot. You'll have seen them all over the place, so they have very familiar concepts. Quite suitable that these are some of the final boss areas in the game. But for the time being, all we need to do is help restore them. Given that they wind up being final bosses, I'm not sure I want to restore them, but okay, Raymond, fine. <laughs> Let's see, I have Toughen Magic, I can use that, and then Heavy Frost to freeze it in place, Lower Risk Magic, but that didn't work. Okay, so now we also have Metal, Melt, no, that's wrong. I did it in the wrong order because I'm an idiot. Fire, water, <laughs> anyway. No, that was fine. Metal is melted by fire. It's just, it's just mist, I think. So I can use all of these things to more easily fight these guys, but the problem is that they have really good evasion, so not everything's gonna hit. But here we are. Wood, now it has wood defense. Wood is cut by metal. Metal, fire. I can't cast magic, lovely. I do not like the toxic tiger moths. Maybe I shouldn't have been doing this as a shaman. <laughs> but I just thought shaman is in the right level to benefit from this quest, whereas Benser is now too high level. Well, there we are, I still need it. Okay, now let's give it wood. Earth, and then wood, and then metal. Ta-da! Okay, so I'll be doing that and hoping they don't hit me too much and leveling up. At the moment, there's not a lot besides that to do. Okay, fire. We douse my water, except that didn't hit. <laughs> that really messes up my cycle when one of them misses, but there's not much I can do about that. Maybe I need more agility. Don't I have decent agility? Oh, I need more dexterity, okay. Might wanna do that next level then, because you do really need to be able to have good accuracy as a shaman, since you want to hit things from a distance and not be, not give them a chance to hurt you. Oh, well, that still works. And since my agility is decent, I'll, I'll be okay. But yeah, that's a little bit of a snafu here. I definitely should have thought of that. They have very high agility. Whoops. So now I'm running through more spells because of that, which is unfortunate, but that is the Toxic Tiger Moths. You only need 30 spirits, so that shouldn't take too long, and then I can abandon these annoying pests. There we are, that's not too bad. Okay, fire. Doused by water. Soaked up by the earth. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really nice and quick. That's one thing that's great about fighting as a magic user is that you can just run through enemies so quickly with your spells. But here we are, wood. Cut by metal. Melted by fire, except I'm um, not sure, I think one of those didn't hit. <laughs> Fine, water, soaked up by the earth, and broken through with the tree roots. And it didn't hit, yay. Wow, we're getting a lot of misses. There we are, finally. And I'm so hard up that I just decided to hit it with my staff because clearly that's what you should do as a magic user. Just whack them with your staff when the magic doesn't work. <laughs> Well, there we are. That's going to take me a little bit, but not too long. I'm already a third of the way through, and I'll meet you back at Raymond, and we can get a better quest. <laughs> I think even though the Naughty Stones are kind of high level, I don't know if I'll be able to take them, actually, but I can try, because they will be very vulnerable to elemental attacks, and they have really high physical defense, so they suck to fight with a physical attacker. 
Okay, I'm just gonna finish this part up off screen. Well, that didn't take long at all, and as you can see, it was very good for my experience, so worth it. Now, right here, before we get to Raymond, we can also find the people we need to talk to for the dancer and musician qualifications. Here we have Hannah the dancer and Busker Biff. What are those names? But they're very pretty. You can see dancewear is very pretty, the musical instruments are pretty, and the fan is gorgeous. And they both have quests for you to get the qualifications for the jobs. I have a favor to ask of you. Please hear me out. My friend caught her clothes on a branch when she was practicing near the lake a while ago. The dance where she was wearing was torn and now she can't dance. I want to find a tailor or a seamstress to send the dance wear to and make it even prettier. Sure, I'll help you find one. Thanks, I'm counting on you. And here we are. I have a favor to ask, please hear me out. My friend, who makes his living by playing the lute, dropped it carelessly when he was rushing somewhere. His lute was quite badly damaged, and now it can't be played. I need to find a craftsman to repair it and make it sound even better than before. Of course I'll help. Thank you, I'm counting on you. So they just want you to help with each other's stuff. And the repair person, I believe, is around here in the farm. Meanwhile, I think that the assault officer is probably up here. I'm gonna have to talk to the assault officer before I get the net before I start working on the next Raymond quest, because they'll want me to fight the same monster, so it makes sense to just do those together. Anyway, I'll find him and I'll also start on that quest. You need one down each, and you also need wild hide and a vine rope for the repairs. You should separate them out in your inventory. The person won't accept the repair person won't accept two, plus you need one each. So here is the instrument and the dancewear. I suppose they're just wearing their low-level stuff instead since their good stuff was broken. That would actually explain it because he looks like he has the level 10 instrument at the moment. She looks like she's wearing the level 10 dancewear. That would explain a lot. Raymond is like, what are you doing? I actually come here sometimes when I'm doing a job. Oh my goodness, these might be a bit tough for me. Well, <laughs> Look at how they clap. They're so cute though. Look at that intimidating icon and they're just so happy. I love them, even though they are hard to fight. <laughs> okay, let's turn this one in. Excellent. Here's a present for you. You've done exceptionally well. I was right about you. And we get a record sheet, and I get his list, and a blue pick dice chest, and experience. Yay! Okay, time to pick this up. Northern Torture Spirit. The Divine Northern Tortoise, due to its tough skin, has the highest defensive prowess of the four divine beasts. I heard that the Naughty Stone is so tough because it absorbed the shards of the Northern Tortoise Spirit. I need to collect 30 of the shards of Northern Tortoise Spirit. Yes, I will help. Okay, so I am a little iffy about this. Because I have magic, I can do hit and run tactics and things like that and freeze it, lower its defense, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I can handle this. Oh, I did actually put these on this shortcut list since I use them a lot. Yeah, okay, so at this stage, I believe there is going to be a landing pad right here near the farm. So let's get started on that first, and then I will still look for the assault officer so that we can get that quest too. And yes, I'm in the level, fi level 15 gear still. It's beautiful. I'm going to be so sad to retire it. I'm sort of torn. I feel like I might want to keep it for a bit longer so that I can use it as Taoist, both the level 10 and the level 15 gear. And as I've said, except for the area bosses, nothing else here will aggro unless you attack it first. So it is safe to walk around, mostly. And you can see the tower is very beautiful. And all oh, these trees are lovely. I think they did a very good job on these. The very most basic tree here is not the best. When you get close to it, you can really see how they've tried to layer it to get that bushy tree effect. So it doesn't look as good when you get close to it, but again, I think this looks really good for a game from 2005. I am constantly impressed by it. The effects are really pretty, and it's just great. I love it. Okay, so we need to head to the farm. We're nearly there. There will be some tougher monsters here, so I definitely can't try fighting anything. That is to be expected. You have a very pretty, like, swirly animation when you land after flying. It's lovely. So 
So yeah, the Audrey Offspring here and the Bow Wow Bums are very tough. And both of them, if you attack one of the other monsters, all of them that are nearby will start attacking you. And hey, the Assault Officer is actually here. This is perfect. I, for some reason, thought that he was somewhere else. Well, great. Hello, sir. Wait. He won't give me the quest. Raymond doesn't care, but he won't give me the quest unless I'm level 20. Oh. Oh, okay. I might have to change jobs after I've done the dance request. I think the only other job I have in the right level is the... I suppose I could do... Oh, my Blade Master is going to be hell fighting the Naughty Stones because they have so much defense. That's not a good idea at all. Oh, and look, one of the recipes I was missing is here. I can get this one. That's more important than the dance wear, obviously. Well, that's awkward. I forgot that it's level limited. So I believe, let's see, we have... These two people will do the repairs for us. Ali the Craftsman and Granny June the Seamstress. Excuse me, can this be repaired? Will it sound even better than before when it, once it's done? Yes, it can be repaired. If you have one bind rope and one down, plus 100 gold, you can modify it into a sitar. Yes, please. I will need the loot to be repaired and the 100 gold payment. This is the list of ingredients you will need. Yes, I already have that. I'll give it to you now. We need... What did he need? Vine rope? Please tell me he needed vine rope. Yes, it's right there. <laughs> These ingredients, ingredients are all good. I can prepare it for you now. I need one minute to improve this instrument. Come back in a minute. This is the receipt. Come back when it's time. And here we are. Excuse me, can this garment be mended and modified into even prettier dancewear? No problem! If you have one down and one wild hide, plus 100 gold, you can modify it into glamorous gown. Yes, please. I will need the dance where it is to be mended and the 100 gold payment. This is the ingredients list. Everything you need is written down on it. Yes, I have it. Wild hide and down. These ingredients are all good. I can change it for you now. It doesn't take long to change this into glamorous gown. Come back in a minute. This is the receipt. Come back soon. Okay, so I'm gonna have to change jobs then. I was really hoping to do this, but I'm too low level. Unless I want to grind, which I don't particularly care to do at the moment, I really do want to get further in this. And you know, I'm thinking about it, aren't the Naughty Stone level 21? That's still gonna be decent experience for the Fencer at level 24. Not the best, but you know, it's fine. It's still only a free level difference. I think I'm just gonna have to come back as Fencer, but at least for the Tiger Spirit, for Tiger Moths, I did get some experience as a Shaman first. So that will work out just nice. That will work out very nicely. The only other thing I could do is grind against the giant hedgehogs first and get to level 20 as a shaman. But I really do need to get Fencer up because I want to do the pet quest soon. I want to show that off to you. And also when I do the pet quest, after I've done the pet quest, I will change over to being a musician because musicians can heal pets. I'll talk more about that when we get the pet. But that's going to be a goal in probably the like 20 episode range to be starting on that. Pets are really useful in single player mode because they can fight with you so it's like having a second person with you all the time. And the pet you get for the pet quest for free is actually really good. And I want to show how to do the pet quest. I personally found that Fencer was the best job for it. I'm sure you could do it as other jobs. People have done it as all sorts of jobs but I found Fencer was the best so I do want to show that off. But here we are. It's probably been long enough. Excuse me, has the instrument been modified yet? I can assure you that whoever plays it plays it will definitely give it a better will definitely give a better performance now. Sorry, I've been babbling so much now I can't talk. Excuse me, is that garment modified? Yes, you're here! I can assure you that with this dancewear, the performance will look so much better. Okay, we're ready to do that and we can get the qualifications for both jobs now. At this point, I do want to check if there's anything on the map down here, which I could get. This is black steel shoes, and oh, the iron wrist band is not that close. I'll probably do the rest of those recipes later. So for the time being, I'm just going to head back up, and you know what? I'm going to go to Eversun and change back to a fencer for the time being. This is not going to work unless I want to level up a lot, and I said I really want to level up as Spencer. So I'm going to do that, and I will meet you back at Hannah and Busker? Is that really his name? Anyway, I'm going to meet you back with them and get the qualifications, but for the time being, I need to go to Eversun. 
Okay, I am finished with the Assault Quest and Raymond's Quest. And I did try to steal from Venati Stones as I fought them. And you can see that while I got a couple of regular items, I didn't get anything good. No recipe. However, Venati Stones only give you the harp recipe. That's the level 20 musical instrument. And you will get that recipe anyway from the level 20 musician's life quest. So that one's not vital. I just figured while I was fighting them anyway, I'd use Pilfer when I could. And it's not been working out <laughs> at all. Okay, we have to turn this one in. Excellent, here's a present for you. You've done exceptionally well. I was right about you. Okay, and now it's time to do the next quest. We need to get the Baihu's spirit. Legend has it that Premier Poo Poo was originally just a wild boar living in the woods. When it was looking for food, it mistakenly ate the western tiger spirit and was transformed into the terrible Premier Poo Poo. I need to collect 30 of the shards of western tiger spirit. Okay, the Premier Poo Poo are Earth, so I'll be using a lot of the wood spell, just like against the Earth Naughty Stones. And now I also need to turn in the Assault Mission, which is going to be all the way down here by the farm. <laughs> no problem. Let's just take in the scenery and the Naughty Stones, which are adorable. Now, the Assault Officer may want me to fight some other things. I hope it's not Vanny and Marigolds. I know at some point he wants me to fight the Bow Wow Bums. They, well, they aggro once you hard hit one of their bodies, so that can be a problem. Same with the man-eating marigolds. They get very angry. I guess they're friends with each other. Naughty stones don't care about each other. They look cute and happy, but they don't care if you're beating one of their friends up. <laughs> Go ahead, do it, kill them. <laughs> they don't care. Whereas, you definitely need to be careful to avoid aggro when you're fighting one of these. If you're something like a magic user, if you're very soft, you should stay at the edge of the area where they spawn in and then only draw out one at a time. I always recommend that, but I'll just say it again. And here is the farm. He may give us a harder quest than the Premier Poo Poo. The Premier Poo Poo you can find mainly in some of these areas which are closer to the towers. So I'll probably fly to one of those areas next to fight them, but let's see what the assault officer wants us to do. He always wants us to fight a ton of stuff. Like many other NPCs, he wants you to murder a bunch of monsters. All right, let's take a look at what he wants. Okay, that's this quest, not his. And we also have a dice chest. I got frogs, yay. He wants me to beat up the man-eating marigold. 80 of them, my goodness. That's a lot, okay. Well, that's, as said, this is something you have to be careful of because they will aggro if they see you attacking one of your friends. So let's put regeneration on. And they will give much better experience though. You can see they're much more in my level range. And I need to settle on the metal spell. And fortunately that is doing a lot of damage so I can definitely make good progress with them. I think I'll do that before the Premier Poo Poo because I wouldn't be surprised if at some point the Assault Officer wants me to fight something closer to them. So this is gonna go just fine and I should definitely get much better experience from them. Let's see, 71.85. I wonder if they have anything to pilfer. I got an itching powder, you can sell that. <laughs> oh, looks like a giant one spawned in. Well, I might as well beat it up. And I can finally use one of my combos. That'll get me through it much faster. Okay, so I do need to be careful about, wow, that one's huge. I do need to be careful about aggro because fortunately these are not counted the same as the others. They won't aggro on you. None of the special enemies with the little asterisks will aggro on you. They wait for you to fight them. And they won't aggro on you if you fight one of the other guys. So that's useful. I'm not going to bother using the wood spell because it just will do no damage to a wood enemy. So here we are. We need our G. And we can start spamming these again and beat it up. Now it's time to heal because it does hit quite hard. But I did succeed in beating it up, no problem. And that was the mini boss version of it, not the regular one, so not a surprise that it hit harder. I would like to build up my alchemy soon and get the level 25 armor, but we're doing fine for now with the level 20. And at this stage, I will just keep beating the marigolds up. I'm actually getting decent experience out of them, so I should reach level 25 doing that, which is good because I think the Premier Poo Poo might be 
if not level 25, definitely closer to level 25. So I'd rather have another level before I try to take them on anyway. Okay. Looking forward to getting another level. I think I may be able to unlock Burning Backdraft to the um, area of effect version. Maybe. We'll have to see how that goes. But I might be able to put some points into that finally. I won't have enough area of effect moves to actually use it. You need to cycle through multiple in order to successfully use them against a mob, but I will at least have the first area of effect move. Which you actually need from a pet quest. That's one of the reasons I want to do Fencer for the pet quest, so yes, definitely worth keeping in mind. And I'm going to check if they have a recipe. I'll keep trying to steal from them, because I'm beating them up anyway. There's no harm in doing that. And it won't destroy my sanity the way that just standing there waiting for Pilfer to reload will. Okay, so I just finished this quest and it's time for me to fight Baba Bums, Hulu, Hulu Bamboos, and the Premier Cuckoos. That's all quite neat and orderly at this stage, so that works out fine. They're non-elemental, so you're just going to have to skill spam on them a bit. I don't know if I have a recipe to steal and it doesn't matter. It'll never, it'll never work, I'm starting to feel. It does work sometimes. I do actually have a decent little collection of recipes for weapons, but it takes a long time. It's definitely tedious. The highest level recipes at the moment I have are level 20. Oh, I do have a level 20 heart. Huh. I guess you could steal it from something else. Well, anyway, it's it's not my favorite part of the game, but what can you do? And so the Bow Wow Bombs will also aggro on you if you're not careful. And you just need to be... Hey, I got an iron arrow. How exciting. Everyone wants an iron arrow. <laughs> not really. Okay, so that's working out nicely. These are not very hard to fight as long as you're careful not to get too close to a big batch of them when you don't have any area of effect moves. Actually, really, I'm not using ash spray at all, although I probably should be. So that's not a big deal. Let's put regeneration back on because they do hit hard. Honestly, because I'm switching around with jobs a little more and I have certain goals and things to show off, this does take a little longer. If you're really just pushing it through with one or two jobs, you can probably get through these areas a lot faster. One of the reasons I'm definitely taking longer is because I have all these different things I want to show off and explain about the game and stuff like that. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. I'm definitely playing a little bit slower in some respects, and then in other respects I'm playing a lot faster because I do want to show all this stuff off. And let's see, I just wanted to show, up here is Giant Wood Forest. This is actually where you're going to need to go next. Once you hit level 25, you can start the Giant Wood Forest Assault missions, but I feel like level 25 is also a good level for the last stage of the Placid Plain, because some of these bosses are gonna be a little bit tough. So I feel like it'll work out nicely if I do it at this level. Well, now I'm stealing stuff, just nothing useful. Great. <laughs> But yes, I feel like I'm still, uh, you see, I'm still getting decent experience from these guys. This is working out just fine. And I don't really mind getting Fencer a little OP because I do think it's going to be one of the major jobs I play with a lot in this game. I can't say which will be my final job that I get to the highest level, but Fencer is definitely up there. It's one of the possibilities. Okay, this isn't a terribly important update, but since I had to go to Eversun, I thought I'd show you the cake is now much bigger. It's humongous. I guess people have been doing the event. Does she tell you how many people have been giving stuff? I think she does. Oh, wow. That's actually quite a bit. One thing I've found is that even though the server is fairly quiet nowadays, there are a lot of high level players who are very dedicated. So that's kind of a thing. I would really love to see more new players on because at the moment, if you're a new player, there aren't a lot of people to team up with in the low level areas. But yeah, the high level players are really dedicated. Probably people like me who played it back in the day and are really into it. I am not high level right now, but I suppose one day I'll get to that point and you'll see a level 60 plus Kumlin running around doing stuff, but not yet. <laughs> oh.
Okay, so I'm now in a slightly different part of Placid Plain. I flew over here near the Eastern Dragon Tower, and one of the recipes is nearby. Let's see, some of them are further down south still, and then one of them is a little bit further up. I think I'm actually going to be heading further up for now, around here, because there, you can also find the marshal who sells the level 25 armor recipes that I need. So you can see the Premier Poo Poo are here, and they are level 25. So at this stage, I'm actually the perfect level for this area, and the Hulu Bamboo are level 24, so they're going to be perfect for me to fight. I will also finish up the Bow Wow Bums, which are still a little bit further north for me. But yes, this is pretty much perfect for me to continue training. So it was absolutely right to come here as Fencer. The only thing was the Toxic Tiger Muffs, which are, it's bizarre, they're only level 18 or 17 or something. Why would I even need to fight them when I'm doing all of the quests here? But anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> One reason they may have put the Toxic Tiger Moths there is because you come in from the Eversun South entrance and they don't want to suddenly have a bunch of super powerful monsters thrown at you right away. But okay, let's buff myself. Regeneration and let's do Tough and Magic. And I did get rid of Pilfer for spring cleaning instead. So now I also could lower their magic defense even further, which means I'll do more damage, but not enough to two shot at all. Fencer is strong, but its magic is sort of moderate. It's a mixture of magic and the physical attack, and also having really high cooldown, fast cooldown, so you can really skill spam. Oh, that is the Haha -ha Bamboo. I need to make sure to stay out of his line of sight. So I'm actually going to get out of this area and make sure I avoid him, because and try to avoid him anyway. We'll see if he sees me or not, but I really don't want to deal with him yet. He's actually a quest, so I don't really want to waste my time fighting him until um, it's the time. So let's just take a look. He still says, come and get me. He's level 29, so I actually think I do want another level or so before I fight him. And I think the recipe I want is here. Yes, it is. Unless I already got this one, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I do already have that. That's the Rhino Wrist cards. Okay, so I do have all the recipes in the northern part. It's the southern part, which I don't have yet. Or I do think I have that one. Did I do that one? Black steel helmet. Let's actually check. This is why doing them all at once is nice if you can, but I just couldn't quite. No, I do, I do have that. Okay. So I only need to do the ones which you can access from the this like sovereign pathway down to the southeast. Okay, cool. At this stage, I know the marshal is around this area, so I am gonna find him and we can just take a peek at what he has, besides of course the light armor recipes, which I need. Because I am exactly in the right level to get them. I just need to level up my alchemy a little bit more and then I can make them. And I only have moderate luck at the moment, so I'm not going to be crafting just yet. So it looks like he's going to be somewhere in this collection area, probably right here, in fact. I believe it's him, Andy Marshall. Let's check. It's better to be self-reliant than to rely on others. Make your own equipment rather than buying it. Okay. Rhino chaps. Wait. It's not him. It's the, um... It's in Giant Wood, isn't it? I'm so sorry. It's in... I think the one I need is in Giant Wood. But I don't believe I have the Black Steel Greaves or Black Steel Armor. Let me just check to be sure. I don't think I bought those, so I can still get those. Black Steel Bracers. Okay, so that actually still works out nicely. I still can buy those recipes. I do have the gold for them. And then I can say that I've bought all the recipes here because I did already get these. Okay, that's gonna be in Giant Wood Forest. No problem, I just forgot. Sorry about that. And I actually have some stuff I can use for crafting. I'm just waiting till my luck goes is better because I don't really want to waste materials on a bunch of failed attempts. I don't even know what the luck really helps, but I keep trying. At this point, it's almost psychological. It's magic thinking. Okay, I think it does have some influence, but it's just not as good as you might hope either. Okay, so I finished with the Bow Wow Bums, and you can see I'm now 55% of the way to the next level. I'm probably still going to be focusing on the Hulu Bamboos next, because I'm not quite ready to take on the Premier Bamboos. I can take them, but I feel like they're going to be dealing a lot more damage. I always forget to do stuff like Tough and Magic. It just doesn't last very long. I'm better with the buffs which last like two minutes or so. It's much easier to remember. 
So here are the premier poopoos. And they're earth, so I need to go through to wood. And that will deal more damage. But you can see they're also dealing more damage to me. Although, fortunately, I'm a bit faster than them, so that helps, and I have good agility. So actually, I can probably just alternate between fighting these enemies, whatever's next to me. And I will get through this. And at that point, I think I'm ready to turn in both missions. So I may actually finish up Placid Plain today. It definitely helps to already be familiar with the areas and what I'm doing because I'm not like when I first played I was just exploring everywhere I wasn't even always coming in with a very strict goal I was just like I just want to look at stuff it's pretty I'm happy to be playing again and now I'm like I know exactly what I'm gonna do here I know where to do it and all of that so it's much easier and that means I'm definitely a lot more streamlined in my gameplay when I'm not waffling I think I might be waffling also but yeah, I'm doing really well, and I'm having so much fun playing this. Honestly, like, I know a lot of people are like, you know, MMOs, they want to play it together with other people, and yes, that's fun. I would like to sometimes be in parties with people, and that's something that you can't really do now, but I think that it's honestly really fun in single player. And once you have a pet, fighting with a pet in a more physically based job like this is also really fun because you can buff them and they can actually do things. The metal pet which you get from the pet quest actually has an ability called Bad Bear Outburst. Yes, that's its name. And what it does is it actually draws the enemy aggro away from you. So it's really useful as well because the metal pet is very defensive. So you can actually have it take more of the hits from the enemy and it can be basically your tank. It's pretty cool. So it's really fun just like this as long as, you know, you kind of realize you're signing up for a lot of solo play at the moment. I really do feel like there is kind of a new market for this game, given that people are really into Chinese fantasy nowadays, and a lot of those games don't get translated into English. So a pre-existing game like this, which has this long history and it has dedicated players, I feel like it should be able to get new players. And I'm like, people like retro games. Just because it's not the shiniest, newest game doesn't mean it's bad. In fact, it means that it's more likely to actually run decently on your computer if you don't have the newest computer model with a heavy graphics card. But anyway, I'm kind of tempted to explore some of the towers, but the problem with that is well, not the actual inside, but just the exterior. But one thing I'm a little nervous of is that sometimes some of the area bosses can spawn in the area around the tower. So I might make my way up there while I'm training and just show it to you. So it's around about here, but I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of exploring there. There's definitely a risk that I'll get in trouble with one of those bosses and I'm not quite ready to fight it. As you can see, even the Premier Poo Poo is doing a lot of damage to me at the moment. I really need the next level of armor, don't I? But I think I can make do with self-healing and stuff, probably. Yeah, I think that especially when I level up again and I get more agility, that will help. So I should be fine as long as I keep an eye on my HP. Fortunately, I'm done fighting anything that will aggro besides the area boss and, it, it, you know, I'm going to fight it anyway. It's not like I'm going to have a mob of monsters on me for that. So that should be fine. You can sometimes make your armor last a little bit longer than you expect. Although, you know, I might have to see about getting the armor in between, like before I do the area boss. Because those hit pretty hard and it is level 29. Yeah, I'm going to think about that. But for now, I still have more bamboos and premier poopoos to fight. Did I mention that I love the premier poopoos? You know, I actually feel like, yeah, the, the um, what is it, the President Poo Poo Corpse? I swear, these are actually just the living versions of it, and then those are the zombie versions. It's the same design, it's just a different color. So I guess that's what they become when they die and turn into resentful spirits. <laughs> I don't know what pissed them off so much. What regrets do you have in life, Poo Poo? Okay, so I did level up to level 26 and finish fighting Premier Poo Poo's and still have some more bamboos to fight. I was thinking that even though I do need dexterity, I really want more agility. So I'm going to put one more dexterity in and then I'm just trying to decide between agility and wisdom. It's a really tricky one. I do feel like long term, I'm pretty much going to stop dexterity when it's in the 20s and just do agility and wisdom a lot. So for now I think agility because I'm kind of lacking the better armor. And let's see what we've unlocked. I do need to get some of these area of effect moves now I think. I could get both Roaring Inferno and that's going to be here. And then I also could get Crushing Landslide. I 
suppose I'll just do that because as said, you need area and effect moves for the pet quest. And I do really want to show that off as soon as possible to really show you how to do it and that you can get a pet for free in the game. Although I will actually say, I don't like that it's a gotcha system, but the basic pet tokens are not that expensive. If you are going to buy something with real money, just like once, spend the money you would on a game you bought, then pets are definitely worth getting. But yeah, that's a thing. I think the basic token is not expensive at all. I wish you would just buy exactly which one you want. That would obviously be more useful, but hey, you probably could trade it if you didn't like it with another user. That's probably an option. Go into the general chat in Eversun City and say, I got this pet, anyone want to trade it? Or something like that. There might be people willing to do that. It's worth a try. But we're doing pretty well and that is hitting me, but I am finding that the extra agility is helping out a lot. And while we're here fighting this guy, I can show you the front of a tower a little bit. Wait, that's the back of the tower. <laughs> Where's the front of a tower? Here we can see way down the hill. I really like the way the world's inter interconnected in this. You really do see everything very nicely. The entire area is modeled very attractively and it's just a really pretty game. I mean, if you're going to be comparing it to something like Breath of the Wild, well, firstly, why? But, I mean, obviously it can't compete with something like that, but it is very pretty. And again, for the time in which it was made, it's very attractive. So it looks like I can't actually climb up that way. The ledge, the ledge. Is this a Pokemon game now? I can't move past the ledges. Okay, here, I do actually want to show you the front. And there are no area bosses here at the moment. I know that the bamboo boss can also show up in front of one of these towers, but maybe not this one, or maybe I'm just lucky. I don't know, but that's fine. Just wanted to show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to be doing more grinding off screen. So here is the entrance, and if I go through there, I'm probably going to die immediately. They are insanely high level, the monsters in these towers. I wouldn't even bother trying. I'm worried that anything that might see me would aggro on me and I'd never even get to show you a tiny glimpse of it right now. When I'm higher level, maybe we can go in there, I don't know. Not right now. <laughs> I'd rather not die, but I'm doing really well on levels. I feel like at level 26 I could probably take the um, Ha Ha Bamboo once I've finished up these quests. We'll see, but I feel like I might be able to take him. I'm doing pretty well now. As long as I'm careful, I might have to run a little bit if he does hit me too hard. But yeah, I do. I feel like I might be getting into the range where I could do that. So I would really love to finish up the main Placid Plane quests in this episode so that I can then move on in the next episode to another area. I usually try to come in with some sort of goal like that, like let's do Placid Plane today, let's do Copperhorn Mountain today, or let's do the pet quest. That'll be a different episode. So I have actually been playing for quite some time today, finishing up Placid Plane quests and stuff like that. It didn't help that I took that little detour to experiment with Pilfer again. That was not worth it <laughs> at all. But hey, we're making progress. I only have a few more of the bamboos to fight. Okay, a few. <laughs> but we're getting there. And I'm nearly done with Raymond's quests. At this point, he'll probably only ask me to fight the Haha -ha Bamboo once I turn in this quest for him. So. As soon as I'm done with the Hulu bad base and I have a little more experience, I'll be ready to start that. Okay, so I actually have not been through here. There was a little portal over there. Um, you can still see it. And I walked through and here are these bonkers Bow Wow. I've actually not been here at all. Do they aggro? I bet they aggro. Oh yeah, they aggro on sight. Okay, I'm gonna get away from them then. That's interesting though. But yeah, I don't really feel very able to deal with that right now. Maybe we can fight this one since the others aren't nearby. It's level 26, non-elemental, so I would definitely not have a very fun time dealing with an entire group of them, but I can take one at a time. I wonder if there are any quests related to this. It doesn't have any unusual drops. I'm gonna fly a bit so I don't have to deal with the aggro and just see what's here, because I really don't, I haven't been here. I thought that this was just a normal area, but there's a totally different monster to the upper part of the region. How interesting. Maybe the map was a bit too big, so they had to put a portal in here and have it load in. Oh, oh, I see, there's a boss. Bow Wow Bum Boss, okay. He's a bit high level for me, especially when you consider that I'd be dealing with aggro. Well, this is very interesting. As said, I, I haven't even been here. 
I just wanted to see what was through this portal and it's um, a bunch of bosses. Okay, now my brain is jogging and I vaguely remember this from a decade ago. Yeah, now I do remember these boss, these enemies. I remember they gave me a big fuss because I was a magic user and I couldn't easily walk by them. Yeah, I do remember that now. I played as Doctor a lot back in the day, so some of these jobs were pretty tricky. And here's Mr. Lotus, an NPC. Wow, okay. Well, I can't actually do anything here yet. I feel like this aggro would kill me pretty quickly because I'm just not high enough level. Oh, and there are a lot of bosses, so if I do want to play around here in the future, especially if some of the recipes are here, then I'm going to have to wait until I am higher level. But yeah, this is interesting. Fortunately, I can mostly avoid aggro by staying on my sword, so that is a nice saving grace. Looks like there's a collection area merchant, and is this going to be forestry then? There's nowhere to land though, so that's a bit of a problem. But hey, it's it's fine. Looks like this is where fishing is. I think there's a recipe here. Can I get through from another area? I know I'm just babbling at you now, but I'm just this is curious. I didn't even realize there was a place you could actually go for a portal to. Well, at this point, I suppose I just need to fly somewhere else and find somewhere to land. Well, I turned in the assault officer's quest and he gave me another one, which I'm not very excited about. He wants me to fight 70 Premier Poo Poo and 70 of those bonkers Bow Wow Bums that I didn't want to fight because they aggro. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be doing that part anytime soon. <laughs> I'll see, I might keep this mission for a bit and we'll just we'll just see. I have other stuff to take care of. Oh yeah, this was the boss there, now in the in basement. And now that I have some area of effect moves, when I'm another level or so, I might be able to actually take care of that and have better armor. But for now, we can turn in the next quest for Raymond. Excellent, here's a present for you. You've done exceptionally well. I was right about you. And we should only have one more mission now. Eastern Dragon Spirit. I'm deeply grateful to you for helping me collect the shards. However, there is one more piece I require that'll be the most difficult to get. Ancient scripts say that Haha -Ha Bamboo was originally a follower of the Eastern Dragon. But then, under the influence of the evil demon Malachite, when the Eastern Dragon had lost its magical powers, it swallowed the Eastern Dragon Spirit. I really want to get my hands on the Eastern Dragon Spirit, but Haha -Ha Bamboo is the most powerful monster in Placid Plain. If you're willing to help me get the Eastern Dragon Spirit, I'll give you a big reward. Okay, let's take a look at that. And let's take a look what the dice test gives us. <laughs> Frogs, yay, it's no big deal. So I know exactly where the dragon, uh, where the Haha -ha Bamboo is. I honestly, does it even matter at this from this distance if I walk or fly there? It's right around here where there's a pavilion. So I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know if I can do it at level 26, but I might be able to pull it off. I'll probably have to use some hit and run tactics when I'm getting hurt, but we will see. I think I might be able to pull it off and that would be nice to just check that off my list. And at least I can say I did that, although I'm not doing the rest of the assault quest just yet. Maybe when I have more area of effect moves and ability to handle that sort of aggro, I might come back and try the bonkers bow wow bum, but at the moment I'm not too excited about that quest. Other option would be to at least do the Premier Poo Poo side of it and get to level 27. I think at that stage I could definitely take the Haha -ha Bamboo, but you know, I might be able to take it. I can give it a try. Or it'll destroy me. I'm not sure which one. You know what, if it's too tough, I can just fly away. Let's, let's see how it goes. I'm very curious. I do need the better armor, but I need to work on my crafting and get those recipes. I'll just slip into Giant Wood Forest just to buy those recipes and make them between episodes. I won't do anything in, that, in Giant Wood Forest. I try to do new stuff on screen so that you aren't missing out. But when it comes to doing maintenance stuff like that, you guys don't need to see everything. So I'll get a little closer. Let's put regen on. It doesn't really do that much at this level. I'm gonna have to level Doctor up more in future, but it's better than nothing. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna put on Razzle Dazzle, Toughen Magic, Magic Barrier. That won't even help. It's fine. OK, 
Okay, so first I'm gonna freeze it. It did work. Now I'm gonna put on these boosts, um, which will lower its stats a little more, and now I'm going to hit it with the Metal Rolling Thunder, and let's just see how this goes. Okay, we're gonna spam some puffer spells, even the ones which don't do a lot, and I did do it! That's fine, the spell spam really works. Okay, so that was that was totally fine. I can go turn that back into Raymond. Okay, so I can say I finished this up at least. Oh, that's something. I would have been a bit disappointed if I had to finish up today and say that I didn't finish even one quest in Placid Plane. So that's nice to finish that one up. And again, it's not that far, I'll just walk. Yeah, so I'll probably off screen finish up those Premier Poopoos and do more of them and get another level and also make the armor. My luck is still only slight. I'd rather try to do more alchemy practice and get to level 15 when my luck is higher because I feel like if I do it at a lower level, I might, if I do it when my luck is low, I might just have a bunch of failures and waste the ingredients. So we'll see how that goes. Well, that wasn't so bad. You really can take the area bosses at a lower level if you're careful, especially if you're not in an area with a lot of aggro, because you, you're just dealing with the one boss. So if you use some hit and run tactics, if you're careful, it should be totally feasible to do that. And it was. It was, well, it was only three levels above me. That's not so bad. But yes, it's nice to be able to say I finished that up. And I will say, if you're a job like Blade Master or Martial Artist, the Naughty Stones are going to be hell to fight, unless you can get a weapon which has the wood element, because then that will deal a lot more damage to them. But just fighting them with a normal non-elemental weapon is not going to be fun if you're doing physical damage. They have lower magic defense, and you can also get away with, and you can also of course use something like a wood elemental attack, and you'll do better against them. But with just a regular non-elemental weapon, it's not going to be fun. Wow, you're quite something. You defeated Haha ha Bamboo and collected the Eastern Dragon Spirit. I'm really thankful to you. I've decided to give you a reward and to present you with a title to tell others of your heroism. What equipment would you like? Ooh, so we can get the Heartstopper, White Fox's Robe. I said, I know I want the Heartstopper, but the White Fox's Robe recipe is going to be over in... Giant Wood Forest, which is not in Giant Wood Forest. No, it's going to be all the way over in Grass Green Square, which is the early 30s. So that's going to take me longer to actually get for a gameplay the recipe. Whereas the Heartstopper, I can buy the recipe in Giant Wood Forest, which is the next level area up anyway. So that works out more nicely, and I can just craft it. So I do still think that I'm going to take the White Fox's robe. I know it would be nice to just get the Heartstopper now, but. I think it just is more practical because you can see I'll still have to do Giant Wood Forest and then you go to Collington which is the next big city and then Grass Green Square. So it's just more practical at this rate. But yeah, that's great. I at least did finish that up and I have another dice chest which gave me sliced ginger which you use for making medicine. Oh, and this is a cool thing. At this le level and up, the um, NPCs will give you armor and I think very rarely there are some which will give you weapons, which has a slot for an onyx. And the body slot does get used a lot. You can usually get a slot which will do things like enhance your magic defense or your physical defense. And so that's going to be really useful too to have that slot without having to first put the slot in. Because as I think I showed you much earlier on, your provider's providence also affects your chance of successfully putting a slot in and you can get a lot of failures. So it's nice to just get something which already has the slot. And this already has the bonus stats, so perfect. Okay, I think that is that. I did a lot today and I did finish up at least the most important quest in Placid Plane. There are others, like the assault quest, Oi! but I figured out, but I did do the most important one and I found that you can definitely take the haha -ha bamboo at this level. In between the, this episode and the next episode, I'm probably going to grind Fencer up a little bit more on the Premier Poopoos, and I will try to get my alchemy up that one more level to level 15. No, I need two more levels, darn it! So I'll try to do that and get the recipes for Heartstopper and the, the, the rest of the level 25 armor set and make that. But for now, this was a very busy episode, I did a lot, and so, as 
as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, thank you. Bye.